Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be going through my initial clear of the first quest of Chapter 1 in the new Variant 7, or Back Issues number 7. And I'm going to show you what I consider to be the easiest path for your initial completion. All right, hopefully it'll save you some items. Now, one thing to know about this first chapter and in all the chapters, you are restricted to two classes. It's very similar to variant one. All right, so you have class restrictions. Also, hero champions are who you want to bring in. They give you big benefits. Uh, you'll look at the global when we take a look at them and you'll see why you don't want to fight with any non-hero champions. But you can bring in non-hero champions if you have like a synergy that you just really, really want, you can bring in a non-hero champion. Uh, but they give you good incentive not to do that, all right? So this first quest is Mystic and Mutant. So let me tell you, I had a hard time deciding on what I wanted to do. Now, you see I brought in Wolverine. I really wanted to bring in apocalypse and make him a horseman but the problem is i would have to fight that first fight with apocalypse and either win or bring in a cable so that i would go into the first fight with full charges and then uh, maybe die revive and then make a, a horseman out of wolverine but i decided not to do that all right so uh, you saw the globals that we were having to deal with. Non-hero champions will have a 95% reduction in their uh, damage. So not what you want to do. Now, I go through and I look at all the different paths here, uh, the nodes on them. And in the end, I decided to go with the one all the way to the left. Now, you notice, uh, not the far left, but right there, mainly because I liked those particular um, attackers or defenders, because I'm going to be using Wolverine. I mean, not Wolverine. I was thinking of Wolverine. I'm going to be using Archangel. Okay, you see the globals. And Archangel, for this path, it's poison and bleed vulnerability. It's like made for Archangel. I mean, even a four-star Archangel can do this, all right? Now, the reason I went here is because I knew that Black Widow, you know, she reduces your ability accuracy. Archangel can't have his abilities reduced. So, perfect counter for Black Widow. And with the poison and bleed vulnerability, as you can see, he is just tearing up. I got the neurons on him. The fight is over at this point. All right. That last heavy was just to add insult to injury. That's how easy and quick it is using Archangel. And if you don't have a maxed out Archangel, don't feel bad. You can use a four star. Uh, my Archangel is still not rank five. That's a rank four Archangel, but a 550 uh, four star Archangel can do this just fine. All right, so that's pretty much what you're gonna see uh, as I take this path. Uh, and I'm just gonna keep parry heavy. I kind of messed up there, but he didn't punish it. Um, but one thing that you wanna do when you're fighting with Archangel, if you are unfamiliar with how his mechanics work, uh, you'll get a bleed just doing heavies. Poisons, you'll get a um, a chance to poison them every time they hit into your block. Now, something you may not have noticed, you can go back and look at one of the globals, but the more heroes you have on your team, the higher your abilities uh, chance will go off. So that means if you have a full team of heroes, which I do, Archangel is going to poison them when they hit into his block, okay? Uh, if you've ever fought with Archangel, that RNG can sometimes be a little frustrating. You're trying to get a poison on them. It's not going on, so you can't do the neurotoxins because you need to have a poison and a bleed on them. 
all right but as you can see here we're not having any problem uh we were able to get neurals on him very very quickly and that is why i said earlier that they give you a lot of incentive to bring in hero champions and not do what I was thinking of doing. I would have brought in Apocalypse. I would have brought in Cable and then made Wolverine a horseman, but that still would have cost me a revive unless I really wanted to do that fight with 95% damage reduction. And I didn't because I don't like long fights. All right, so as you can see here, we're going through and we're gonna try to do this itemless. Okay, so that means no healing. And you can see that Archangel is already pretty low. I run suicides, and Archangel is not a suicide-friendly champion. Uh, if I made him a horseman, he would be a little bit more suicide-friendly. One of the things that would make him suicide-friendly, he doesn't rely on his specials. You'll notice that I'm not really firing off specials. I'm just parrying and heavy attack. That's it. Okay. Now, this girl here, I do not like fighting her. She's very annoying. But I said, you know what? I brought Wolverine in. And I know Archangel can do this fight. But Archangel is getting low in health. And so I'm like, all right. It's bleed vulnerability. Wolverine should be able to do it. And then I had that happen. Uh, I'm like, are you kidding me? I got hit there, and then it just went downhill from there. Uh, I apparently forgot how to fight her in the middle once I got hit like that because you don't want to attack her when she has that buff up because she's going to evade, put a nasty debuff on you that's going to take you out more often than not. So I sat here a little stunned, apologizing to Wolverine for playing him so badly and decided to bring in Claire, okay? And you'll notice I brought in my five-star Claire, not the six-star Claire. Uh, so this was me playing around. Uh, when she's in Curse of Blood, she puts on a debuff, a bleed debuff when you do your heavy. She's in Curse of Plague now. I did another heavy now that she's got a poison. So she's got something for them regardless, all right? And there, I felt a little vindication because I was able to evade that special one, which I normally can, but I don't know what happened to me there. Uh, maybe I was I was half asleep or something. All right, so down she goes. Claire took her out without too much difficulty. Poor Wolverine. That was just sad. So sorry. But in any case, now this fight can be a little tricky. If you've ever fought Black Panther Civil War, you know that when he has armor ups, you don't want to parry him, okay? And I can never remember whether he's going to start with an armor up or not. Usually when Kabam puts a, a Black Widow, Black Widow, Black Panther, uh, and you see, look at that. He started with the armor up. So if I had tried to parry him in the beginning, that would have probably been it for um, Archangel. So I went in instead because I was like, if they do it like I'm thinking and he gets that armor up because they usually put it in a node to make him more difficult, um, then I wanted Black Widow to be able to nullify it. And as you can see, she was doing just fine. All right. So I'm like, okay, I didn't really uh, read the node, but he's going down. Uh, just don't parry him, play him somewhat stun immune, and down he went. This time I brought in the six star, uh, Clairvoyant. All right, so we were able to get him down also without too much difficulty. And guess what? We are now at the boss. All right, now I wasn't worried about this boss. I have fought Cyclops in Labyrinth of Legends where he is much tougher. All right. And as long as I can evade the special one, I can evade his special one and his special two, uh, I was not worried about anything. All right? Uh, and that's pretty much how you want to fight him. You want to bait the special ones and evade. Uh, they are unblockable. 
He's got some power gain. Uh, so I went in here with Dr. Voodoo. You know, not even Archangel who could do it. And then I got hit. All of that, I can evade that with no problem everywhere else, but somehow I just got hit. And so I'm like, all right, all right, you're about to get some Dr. Voodoo revenge. All right, so we've got him somewhat power controlled. And remember, there's poison vulnerability. So we put a poison on him and we're still power burning him. He still has enough for a special because that's how powerful that power gain on that node is. All right. And I got clipped again. All right. I'm not doing well evading that special one at this point. And I'm getting a little frustrated, but I'm just like, okay, whatever. Boom. We got it. Vindication. All right. Because I was like, I am going to evade that special. Okay. Not going to go out like that. And we can't take another one of those specials in the first place. All right. And because I run suicides, I don't want to fire up a whole lot of specials here. Uh, special one or special twos because I'll take that recoil damage and my health is already pretty low. That is why I went to a special three this time uh, instead of firing off special one or two. But as you saw, it didn't really do much damage at all. OK, so I'm just like, all right, all right. Now the special two, we got it. Okay, I'm zoned in now. Those specials woke me up. I was sleeping, he caught me sleeping, now I'm awake. Okay, and I'm looking at my health and I'm just like, okay, can, can Dr. Voodoo get this? And yes, yes he can. That's a comeback, don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. So Dr. Voodoo soloed that boss. All right, now, of course, again, Archangel can do that fight just fine, but I wanted to try Dr. Voodoo. All right, but that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hopefully it helps you when you do your initial clear. Um, Archangel, even a four star, is the MVP. You can pretty much do these fights with anyone. Um, any mystic hero, any mutant hero, uh, can get through it. Some are going to be better than others, but I didn't see anything that would cause me to recommend a particular champion. You know, um, you want to get someone that bleeds or poisons to make use of that path, but there are other paths as well. So take a look at all the paths, see which ones you like based on your roster, and then go in. All right. Thank you for watching. Take care. And you all, have a blessed day.